some of that, you know, some of the guard prevention stuff, you know, getting in out of a bad position before you really get stuck. Okay. But it's inevitable you're, you're working, guy passes your guard, you push, whatever, and you end up getting into a nasty position here. Right? We want to try to prevent this by moving and staying active early on, but it happens. You're going to get stuck sometimes. Okay? We want to make sure, for a second, that we get good hand positioning. Okay? We want to get our hands tight. You don't want our arms laying out here. Okay? We're in your tight, keeping our arms tight, just laying them out here. You never want to give the guy a hug. If I hug him, I'm squeezing him, pulling him down on top of me. I want to get my hands up under him. The hips here, I'll get up under the ear. Try to make some space for my arm to come up under your push. Okay? But, uh, one thing to keep in mind, if you guys get stuck here, okay? Like really, so guys squeezing super hard, sometimes you're not going to be able to escape right now. Okay, you're just going to have to relax, okay? Now, if it's like, you know, maybe there's 30 seconds left in a match or something, or if, in a roll, then yeah, go ahead and push yourself a little bit and go. But let's say early on, he got here. I don't want to waste all my energy just trying to fight his squeeze, okay? And if he's squeezing, then he, he's not going to be he's not gonna be mobile enough to attack my arm or you know, get a submission, okay? So he's tight, okay? But maybe he loosens up enough so I can move and wiggle a little bit, all right? I'm going to take my hand that's closest to his head here. I'm going to bring it in, and I want to push, and I'm going to be pushing down. This hand, I want to push on the hip here a little bit, okay? Notice when I take my hand, I don't push like this, okay? My palm does not push against the hip. If it does that, get your wrist broken, okay? So we're going to push kind of on the side of our wrist here, okay? And I want to push his body down, not away, but straight down towards my hips. Once his elbow is right here by my neck, this is the time to go. My hand that was on the hip here pushing down, it's gonna come over top, and I'm going to bridge. Now look, this is what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm trying to get this little turn here. So I'm getting his elbow pointing down, arms tucked, and it's tight, okay? Sometimes you'll be able to just like right here with his hands caught, you'll be able to just roll up, and it's easy. Okay, but, I'll, but go ahead and get into a habit of turning up to your elbow because if you post on his hand, I'm going to need more hip movement to come up with that, okay? From here, we're going to have the arm tucked, tight, we can step over and start to attack an arm bar or get into our own side mount position. So again, he's got me in side mount. Okay, again, if he is squeezing like super, super tight and you can't even move your arm, relax a second, okay? But if you're able to get this arm in place, Okay, then you're fine. Take this hand, we're gonna push down, okay? Notice I'm wiggling my body, okay? Not just my, my hands and pushing, but wiggling my body down a little bit so I get some space. I'm looking to get that elbow right by my neck. Okay, nice. It's there, guys. I'm gonna push and bridge up and turn. Once you get here, come up. Notice how I bring the elbow up. Don't try to sit up here. Bring your elbow in line with your body, come up. Questions about the hips. Okay, guys, go and grow a partner. Right, let's just go. I'm seeing some of you guys get to this position. You're going, you do, you do up, up on your gear. Again, think about what you're trying to accomplish. I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. This elbow is not locked. He's sitting back in here. Okay. When I push away, my arm comes. I punch this arm. And I bridge. Boom. And what I'm trying to do, guys, is keep my arm tight. So. Look at his elbow. His elbow is locked. His elbow is pointing to the ground. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do with that initial bridge and arm punch here. Okay, I'm going to continue to keep the arm tight. And then, again, if I feel like I can just push up, I'll just use my hips. Okay, if I can't, I'll come up to my elbow. Okay, but don't drive your arm in the back of the arm at the same time. Again, I'm pushing them down. Okay, wiggling my body down. Once my, his elbow is right up here on my neck, just, up, just right above it, that's what I want, okay? So you might have to uh, push a little bit, right? Now, hard bridge and roll, okay? Not, not this, I'm going up over this way. So, okay? Make sure that when you guys do it, stop there. Do that bridge and uh, arm punch a couple times. See if you're getting that elbow to turn. If the elbow's not turning, you're not doing it properly, 
give me and I'll help you guys out and help you fix it. If it is proper, if it works, okay, let's go and finish the, uh, the escape, okay?